Good morning children. Welcome to the social studies class. I hope you are fine. Children, in my previous video, I had started lesson 6, people who help us. Children, I had explained about different people, how they help us. For example, a doctor, a fruit vendor, etc. Children, there are some people who provide us with the goods or articles which we need in our daily life. For example, vegetables, milk, furniture, etc. Children, these things come to us in different forms and we use them in different ways. Okay? So children, we are going to take up a case study how milk reaches. How does milk reach us? And in this process, there are various steps which are involved. Let us study about them one by one. Step 1. Milk comes from dairy farms. Cows and buffaloes are raised in dairy farms. They are fed with hay or grains. They are also allowed to graze on fresh grass. They are taken to graze on fresh grass. Step 2. Cows and buffaloes are milked. In this process, when a cow or a buffalo's udder is full of milk, then it is ready to be milked. Then a milker milks the cow manually or by the milking machine. Manually means by hand. Step 3. Milk is stored and transported. Milk is pumped into storage tanks. These tanks keep the raw milk cold. Then the milk tanks are taken to the processing plants in special trucks or vans. These storage tanks are cold and do not allow the milk to get spoiled. The next step, that is step 4, is pasteurization. In this step, the raw milk is pasteurized at the processing plant. Raw milk has some bacteria or germs which need to be removed before it is packaged. The process of destroying germs in milk is called pasteurization. After pasteurization, milk is safe for us to drink. The last step is distribution of packaged milk. At last, the packaged milk is sent to grocery stores or dairy shops from where people buy it. Children, there are many steps in milk production and it is only 
when these steps are completed properly at each stage the production is up to the mark children to achieve a proper goal the distribution of work is very important each work or each task has to be done by people efficiently in this way we see that how we depend on each other for different things so children you have understood this lesson i hope now you will be able to tell how many steps are involved in the production of milk how we get packaged milk so i end the lesson here thank you